Leak win, they connect. We live at 34. Hold up. Hold up. Magmortar's hungry. <laughs> Eat that berry. Good afternoon, Poke Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Slam Regulation F video bringing you a Mac Mortar team. Now, here we are. We're starting the ranked season off. Yes, this will be our first ranked video here on Poke Sports for the new year because that's just, it just came out today when the time that I'm recording this. No, it's been like two days for you guys already, but it just came out for me today. So, we're going to go ahead and bring Mac Mortar on to the ranked battle, starting off the year strong with. A, a not strong Pokemon? I don't know. Magmortar is a, Magmortar is a trip. And you know, there's a, there's a story behind this team. It is a Kurtastic team, by the way. So you always know there's going to be something spicy when you see a Kurtastic team on Pokesports. Now, Kurtastic, Mr. Kurtastic, played and posted the Electivire team that we played not too long ago, right? And then the second he posted that team, I was like, okay, well, you know what you have to do now. You can't just post an Electivire team and not give me a Magmortar team. So he took the challenge. He made, a, he made a Magmortar team, and this is what he ended up with. We have a Citrus Berry, Tanky Magmortar with Follow Me Sunny Day, Acid Spray, and Heat Wave. He said he tried everything with Magmortar, and the Tanky Magmortar with Follow Me was the most consistent one. I'm going to take his word for it. It's kind of fun what we can do here because it does get Follow Me now, thankfully. You know, that, that option is open again. And it does get things like Acid Spray, so we can always go for Acid Sprays and then just lower the Special Defense on the opposing side of the field by two. And then our Walking Waker Flutter Man can just come in and really do some damage. Speaking of dealing damage, we have a Victory Bell here as well. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. That Victory Bell is a little bit sussy to me. It's pretty much filling the role of like a Venusaur, right? But it's like a Venusaur that could hit Strength Sap, so it might actually be better than Venusaur. I, I don't know if I want to say that out loud. Uh, everyone. Put your guns down. I'm sorry. Uh, I, but, you know, the thing with Victory Bell that I find interesting is, again, that's Strength Sap. And it does also get Encore. So it does fulfill roles and does do things that Venusaur doesn't do. And maybe I'll do something with it in today's video. Who knows? You know, the ones I'm excited to use are definitely Walking Wake and Flutter Man. Walking Wake and Flutter Man just kind of being the special damage on, on Sun teams nowadays. We're allowed to use Water Moves in Sun. And we're allowed to hit things very hard with Flutter Man again in Sun. We're, al we're allowed to run Specs without having to rely on Booster Energy with Sun. So, you know, Flutter Man just in general. Just entering a completely... I don't want to say new meta because Sun has been here for a very long time. But now that we have Winsicott with Sunny Day, it feels like Sun is here a lot more. And now that we have Walking Wake, it's definitely here a lot more. Also, hi Iron Hands, nice to see you. Anyway, if you guys are excited to see what the heck a Magmortar is going to do on Pokesports, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. And with that said, let's get on to today's video. Gotta say, love the color scheme. It looks so clean, so nice, so fresh for a nice new year. Up against Carlos Rockin, pretty much the most standard thing you could possibly play in Regulation F right about now. I've seen this team a bajillion times, and I can't wait to slap it with the Magmortar. Magmortar and a Victory Bell, by the way. This team has two weird things on my side of the field. I'm going full Sun Package against them. They're probably a Rain team. That's worth mentioning, worth noticing, worth being a little bit concerned about, you know? Uh, but still, I think we have a pretty decent option against them. Encore Strength Sap, Sleep Powder. Okay, maybe it's not a Victory Bell game today. But, it could be a Magmortar game. Tell you what, let's go Wim. Magmortar. No. Let's go Wim plus something scary right away. I think we gotta, we gotta instill the fear into them right away. Let's go Wim plus Walking Wake. Bring the Flutter in the back, followed by the Magmortar in the far back. And let's see what's about to happen today. I'm excited. Now, Magmortar is not the easiest thing to build around. And I, I, give, I give nothing but praise to Mr. Kurtastic for trying his darn best. Because, it, it, like I said, it's not easy. It's not a great Pokemon. But it can work sometimes that one time. Alright, Ensign coming out, followed by their own Fluttermane. Actually, this is ideal for me. This Intimidate means nothing. I have a Walking Wake on the field against their Incineroar. They've got to fear me some way, somehow, some shape, some form. They're going to get the Flutter Boost. Fair enough. Do I have... I do have Cobra Cloak, so we should just be entirely safe here to click Tailwind. 
I don't think I want to give them sun yet. Well, actually. I could just fire terror and hydro steam something. Who are, or I could just fire terror and light something on fire. I have options. I definitely want to fire terror so I don't take any incoming flutter hit. Meh, I could also just set sun. I think I'm going to set sun and hit protect. Oh, now that we're not in casual bat battles, we actually got to hurry up with this timer. Okay. I'm feeling the pressure. We like it. They're actually going to terrestrialize here. Stellar! Well, isn't that special of you? All right. That's scary. I wonder why. I'm happy that I'm protecting, by the way. Let's see where the fake out's going. Into the whim. We're Cover Cloak, though. So no big deal here. We're going to get the sun up. Gonna give the the walking wake a boost in special attack or speed? Or a speed wake, okay. And then moon blast into the walking wake. Nothing. Alright, cool. Nice and free turn for us here. I'm gonna hit Tailwind. Actually, do I even need to anymore? I guess it doesn't hurt. Followed by Fire Terra. I would love to hit the Sinsen, but they're definitely going to swap the Sinsen out. They had a Rillaboom on their side of the field, right? Okay, my bet is they swap into that Rillaboom right now. I'm going to go for the Flamethrower into the instant spot. Oh, no, they don't swap. Dang. That's my bad. I made a read right there really early. Too early in the season for reads, Kevin, apparently. Oh, well. I'll see how much damage I do here. It's It, it might be like 25% HP. Yeah, wow. They just left in that instant to get Hydro steamed, huh? Yeah, about 25%. Eh, not the end of the world. Moonblast now coming my way. Gonna be into my walking wake. That does apparently my whole health bar, though. Holy! And then Flare Blitz into the Whimmy. Gonna knock out my Whimmy. But you know what? It just gives me opportunity. I just gained nothing but opportunity here. I know this might look bad, because it is. But we have options. We cracked the citrus on the instant, so that's not the end of the world. We can go into our own Fluttermane here, actually. Yeah, let's hold the Magmortar a little bit. For a little bit longer. The Magmortar is the late game. Magmortar is there for the cleanup. We're going for the heavy damage right about now. And we got our Flutter on the field. So let's do this. Let's go for the Dazzling. Actually, I, I could just go for the Shadow Ball. Let's not think this turn. We overthunk last turn. Let's not think at all this turn. Okay, they go for the Protect. That's fine. Fine by me. I went for a Shadow Ball into that slot. And they're going to leave this instant in. Yeah, this is why we don't think. We, uh, rest of this battle, our brain, off. We're not going to think for the remainder. Hydro Steam finally onto the Incineroar. Going to knock it out. Amazing. Phenomenal. Fabulous. And now we actually get to see what else they have on their darn team. Like, we haven't even seen yet what they're packing in the back. And we're also locking ourselves on to... Oh, they have Tornadus. Interesting. I'm going to click Shadow Ball onto their Fluttermane anyway. And I think I'm going to click Hydro Steam onto Tornadus. Yep, that's why. They're Rain Dancing. Fair enough. I'm losing a little bit of speed, but hopefully my Fluttermane can still uh, do something in Tailwind. Because they're not in Tailwind. And we still are. Yep, Shadow Ball still outspeeding their Fluttermane. Specs Fluttermane Shadow Ball. Will it KO? It does, baby. Nice. Amazing. Now, the Tornadus has to find a way of dealing with a Hydro Steam in the rain. Good luck. Ooh, it lives at one, actually. Shockingly. Okay, we're going to encounter a new problem. That new problem is called Urshifu. Oh, Landorus. 
still a problem. Okay, still a problem. I have this is my final turn of Tailwind. And Landorus against two fire types and a flood main typically doesn't spell good news for me. Okay, let's do this. Let's Shadow Ball into the Torn slot. And let's attempt the Hydro Steam into Landorus here. Ooh, Torn has Protect. They might be double protecting on me. That's their smartest play. That for sure is their smartest play. The Torn is forced to go. This is bad. The Torn is forced to go for Tailwind next turn. That much we know. I'm going to Shadow Ball. Into the Lando spot. Hit protect for now. It's not looking good, folks. It sure ain't. Yep, there's the Tailwind. Hopefully they just attack into my Walking Wake. Good. Good. They didn't go for Sandseer, which kind of tells me that they don't have it. Nice and big Shadow Ball. Specs onto the Lando. Chipping it. Listen, we're chipping it. Shadow Ball again. I could try to double protect. It doesn't actually matter though. Because they can only attack one of my Pokemon at a time. They're going to attempt a sub? Brother, that's brave. Okay, we're going to crack that sub right away. That is so brave though. Wow. Maybe they thought I was double protecting to stall at a turn of the the Tailwind. No, I mean you've already told me you don't have Sand Sand Steam or Sand Seer, whatever it's called. I believe that Mag Mortar. Shiny Beauty, Mag Mortar, might be my saving grace here. I gotta keep throwing hits on this Landorus, right? Is Landorus just gonna protect next turn? Even if it does, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna Heat Wave. I don't think the Follow Me matters. I think a Heat Wave... Might get the double KO at the 1 HP that they're both at here. Landorus can attack both of us because it would have done it by now. My Both of my Pokemon should also live a Bleak Wind. Yep, they're just going to Earth Power onto my Flutter. Gonna live at 8 though. Bleak Wind, gonna knock my Flutter. Wait for it, Magmortar is getting the double KO. You got this, Magmortar. You got this, Magmortar. Speed drop doesn't even matter because you got this double connect. Come on. Magmortar, I hate you. Okay, it was Tornadus. We're fine. I think we could take another single target to Bleak Wind. Think. I think we can. Rain stops. Now they're not now they have to try to hit the Bleak Wind. Should we acid spray? Is that the better option? Than missing a heat wave? Yeah, I think they have low enough HP to acid spray. Let's do it. Bleak Wind, they connect. We live at 34? Hold up. Hold up. Magmortar's hungry. <laughs> Eat that berry. Acid spray. Bop. Taking a KO in today's video. Two KOs so far. And you I honestly didn't think I was gonna get to use Magmore at all in this battle. I was able to at the very end. At the very, very end. But I got it in there eventually, right? GG's taking our first dub in ranked battles of the new year of Regulation F. With Mag Mortar. <laughs> Not too shabby. Up against Daniel in rank 10 now.
It's a very quick way out of a uh, great ball, so that's always nice. Rockin' the Reggie Lucky. Very tanky team here, actually. Reggie Lucky plus the Clefairy with Friend Guard plus the the Galarian Moltres. That's a very scary team. The good news is I don't see any form of like weather on their side of the field. So if I set Sun up, then they're just not going to appreciate that at all. Also, Tailwind in general is pretty nice for us. I'm actually going to lead Magmortar and Fluttermane here. I can manually set some with Magmortar. And then I'll bring the Walking Wake in the back, followed by my Iron Hands. Yeah. That's the play. That's definitely the play. Now, the biggest concern with this team is that Landorus, I think. I'm looking at the Landorus. I see the Landorus. I fear the Landorus. I gotta respect the Landorus. Because if I don't, Landorus is really quickly gonna ruin our lives. Speak of the devil. Lando is here with the actual devil instant. Hello. How you guys doing? Nice to see yous. Not looking forward to playing against you, but you know what? I'm sure it'll be a fun time. All right. Um... I have Grass Terra. I like low key think Grass Terra plus Acid Spray on Insin. Followed by just spamming Dazzling Gleam until the game is over might be the best play we could do right now. So let's do that. I like that option. They can't fake out my Flutter, they can fake out my Mag Mortar. They probably will fake out my Mag Mortar. But just in case they don't, getting this Acid Spray off would be really darn nice for next turn. Because my Flutter will outspeed this turn. It won't matter this turn. But I'm probably getting Fake out of this turn anyway. Yeah. But at least I won't die to any incoming... Uh... Ooh, that's damage! Yay! Nice! Crits my Flutter? Not nice! And there's the flinch on my Mag Mortar. Maybe I'll preserve Magmortar. Go into my Walking Wake for now. So I'm pretty sure Instant. After saying how much damage, I, I don't even feel like I need to go for, for an Acid Spray just yet. I might just keep my Magmortar alive. Alive and well for as long as I possibly can. There's nothing on their team that resisted Dazzling Gleam, which is why I'm so confident just spamming it for the rest of the game. They're actually going to swap in their Clefairy and Instant. Zero damage on the field right about now. Which kind of makes me believe they might parting shot out. Because I don't think they want to have this instant on the field with the Clefairy next to it for the following turn. That is very little damage. No, they're just Flare Blitzing. Fine. Really good swap for us. Walking Wake? Nah. Not today. Listen, we are literally dishing out so much damage on my opponent's side of the field. To the point where they really have to reconsider their options right now. We're also just going to keep getting hit in the face with attacks. We got the speed advantage right now. We're just throwing things. We're throwing snowballs at our opponent, right? If you live in the, in the Northeast, I think the last thing you want to see is snow right now. But, you know, we're throwing snowballs at our opponent. And they just got to dodge it. They just got to dodge it or start throwing it back. And for some reason, I don't know what they're doing with their Clefairy, but... They didn't click follow me. They didn't click helping hand. What are you using? Life do? Life do. Okay, well, I'm glad I got rid of the instant then. Clefairy's gonna be a little healthier, but... How much HP is... Is 25% of Clefairy? Like, three? Alright, Moltres is here now. I just keep chucking attacks. Let's just... Like, what? what is stopping me right now? I've not clicked any other move this whole game than Dazzling Gleam on my Flutter main. And they just showed me that they have, like, no Regilucky in the back either. I know I can deal with every single Pokemon they have left with a Dazzling Gleam. Alright, follow me. Not gonna matter. Especially if my Flutter goes first, which it does. Do I get the KO here? Oh, it's close. Oh, and the Moltres is left right above Berserk, but I did give it... The weakness policy boost. So that's a little scary. 
At the very least, we will be dropping the Clefairy. And now, keep in mind, that's how much damage we did with Friend Guard next to it. I think we pick up the KO without Friend Guard next to it. So as long as they don't get speed control here with like Tailwind or something, we knock it out next turn. And we live at one with the Walking Wake and six with the Flutter, dude. That's gotta be like the luckiest thing ever. And I don't believe this Landorus is... is scarfed or anything. So I'm just gonna Hydro Steam Lando, and I'm gonna Gleam. Let's do it. I think the Landorus didn't outspeed my Flutter turn one, so... Yeah, Landorus was actually the last attacking Pokemon that turn one, right? Because it went for the Rock Slide last. So we are set. This Landorus is probably AV or something. But AV taking that much damage? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's like a Clary Amulet. Maybe it's a weirder set that I don't know of. Alright, they're, they're gonna finally Terrastalize on us. Which is it gonna be, though? Game's not over yet, folks! Oh, it's Landorus! Yeah, we knock out the Moltres. I don't think they win. I think the Moltres is, like, their win condition. They just don't know it yet. Oh, they got Sucker Punch. Oh, this complicates things. Do I pick up this KO here? I knock myself out to Life Orb and I don't pick up the KO. Hold up, game's not over. I might lose. Okay, good news is I have a fake out turn to use. They went for EQ, okay. Are they locked? I don't think they are. That's the problem. I legitimately do not think that they are. So far, the Moltres has shown me Fiery Wrath and Sucker Punch. Those are two things that can't knock out my Iron Hand. So I feel comfortable in that regard. And they just went for EQ. So I think I'd much rather get the fake out here on Lando. And I, I like Loki don't want to touch this Moltres until like, because I don't want to give it a plus, a plus one because of Berserk. So I think I'm just going to follow me just in case they do something weird. I don't know. Because I, I don't want to touch the Moltres. I want to leave it perfectly right there at that HP until I'm ready. To, oh, okay. I guess that also works. Thanks. Thanks for helping me do that. All right. Well, we're just clapping. We're just finishing off this uh, Landorus. Leaving it off the field. Not a big fan, Lando. All right. This is now ideal. Now I can actually hit the Moltres because it won't matter. Because the Moltres should go first, followed by my Magmortar. Followed by my my Iron Hands to get the KO eventually with this Wild Charge. So let's just do it. Wild Charge followed by Heat Wave. Let's see some damage, folks. There's the Fiery Wrath. No flinches, por favor. Yikes. Magmortar doesn't like that, but Iron Hands ate it and spat it back out. Iron Hands did not care about that hit whatsoever. No flinches, no flinches, no flinches. We got this, we got this. Heat Wave connects. Beautiful. It's not the important hit, but hey, it's a hit. <laughs> Magmortar, good job. And Wild Charge connects to taking another Dubski with the Magmortar. Did a little less in the first battle, I will be honest. Mostly because I kind of brought it in on a bad on a ba on bad positioning and then had to swap out on a prediction and keep it alive, you know? That's the awkward situation. But hey, we got there. We got to the end game. We got to the victory. We took another dub in today's video. That's 2-0 this year so far. Not bad. Or at least in the ranked season this year, because this is the first ranked video on the channel. But yeah, let's see what we can still do. Saryu with another just standard regulation F team. The first team that we faced in today's video was very meta. This team is also very meta, but there's a Raging Bolt on it. This is the Raging Bolt team that uh, keeps me up at night and that scares me every time I go to sleep. Let's... How are we going to work our way around this? Because this is going to be a rain team that we're up against. We haven't used Victory Bell yet, and I don't know if this is the time. <laughs> I don't honestly know what the right time to use Victory Bell is. Low-key, like, Encore might actually be really nice into this. I think I'm gonna go win. I think that's, like, a pretty standard uh, lead for us. Pretty standard situation for us. I'm gonna bring Magmortar. 
And then we're just going with the Sun Team Beast mode in the back. The Walking Wake plus the Flutter Man. We're going with the same four that we brought to Battle 1 to Game 1. No Victory Bell again, I'm sorry, Victory Bell fans out there. There's a Pokesports Victory Bell video somewhere in the world, I think. Search for it! You might find it! <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I think I think we can still come out of- Ooh, what? We can still come out of this one on top. It's not an easy game we're playing against. And listen, if it was like a bit of a weirder team, then maybe I would feel a little bit co more comfortable bringing the Victory Bell. But, you know, when they lead Torn and they lead it and see, it's like, uh, do I really want to bring Victory Bell? Alright, what I can do to be absolutely annoying... Is taunt their torn because I should outspeed it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Fall by just throwing a heat wave out. Alright, they fake up my whim. Cover cloak, baby. Come on. Let's taunt their torn. Stop any incoming tailwinds on their side of the field. Stop any incoming oh, it was a tailwind. Or any incoming rain dances that they might want to be going for. Just get some nice big damage off on their side of the field. Crit the Ensign. We take that and also do a decent amount of damage to the Tornadus. Tell you what, now I'm going to click Sunny Day. And do the exact same thing. Actually, now I kind of have an, an opportunity to swap. I think I'm going to Walking Wake swap here. It hits Sunny Day with my mag. That might be the better play. Get my stronger Pokemon on the field. Deal with it this way. They bleak wind. We're dodging though. Magmortar's gonna avoid. That does a little bit too much damage to the walking wagon. Not a big fan of that. And the speed drop. That's really bad. We're gonna get that speed right on back though. So it's not the end of the world. Oh no we don't. We got special attack now. Oh, that's a little awkward. We know what the Flare Blitz. Instin just kind of wasted its time here, so that's always awesome. I'm going to see if I get the free KO on the Torn. Getting rid of a Torn would really put me in a nice position here. Fall by just spamming Heat Waves until the end of time. They're going to go for Bleak Wind again. Walking Wake on the dodge this time. Okay. Got to dodge on both Pokemon. I'll take that. Big Hydro Steam now on to the Tornadus, knocking it out. No speed control for them for the remainder of the game. And no weather changing for them for the remainder of the game as well. This now becomes a single targeted heat wave in the sun. Granted, it's on an Incineroar, but it's still the damage. Barry? Oh, and a crit. Single targeted heat wave in the sun crit from a Magmortar on Incineroar. That's what the calc looks like, folks. <laughs> you saw it live. Dark is... Oh, he has a... Didn't expect that. Granted, I expect like maybe a knockoff, but Darkest Lariat using Incineroar's original signature move. Fine, the sun's up, and I got a Flutter Main, so I think I think I like I like the odds. I feel like the odds are in my favor here. Electro Furia. What a scary sounding name. It literally means Raging Bolt. <laughs> All right, tell you what. Uh, they could still Terrastalize here, but so can I. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Fairy Terra in the sun. Specs. Plus click follow me for the rest of the game. I'm only clicking two moves until the end of time. I think we aligned our position and got ourselves in the proper place to get away with this. All the follow me should stop all the thunderclaps. And the Ensign shouldn't be able to hurt us too much on their side of the field. They're going to go for the Terrestrialization with their own Thunderclap. Just going to be straight electric here. Ooh, I almost feel like I should have a, a Grass Terra on my Magmortar, but I went for damage. I saw blood in my eyes. All right. I am now the center of attention. Thunderclap, not today. They didn't see the follow me coming. Big D Gleam now onto their side of the field. Fairy Terra Specs. Okay, I thought that would do more damage. Oh well, it still did something, I guess. I'm not complaining. All right, give me that berry. Magmortar is a follow me in sin right now. <laughs> that is all my Magmortar is currently. 
Ensign with follow me. Let's Dazzling Gleam again. Do I follow me again? Do I Heat Wave this time? There's no way they Thunderclap me again. Yeah, I'm going to Heat Wave. Yeah, they don't Thunderclap me again after doing that. This D Gleam should knock out the Ensign. And now the Heat Wave might even finish off the Electro Furia. Depending on what they decide to go for. Oh, but we're going to miss. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, good. There was a little bit of a pause there, but nah. Magmortar's like, just give me one more KO, Kevin. I got this. Boom. Look at Magmortar here. Doing a thing. Doing its thing. <laughs> the one thing it can do. Click heat. Oh, you got your own flutter. I think I'm faster because I'm speed booster, but what are they? This, sh this should be interesting. Well, I'm locked onto D-Gleam. I wonder if they're gonna lock onto D-Gleam. Ooh, I could break- I can use my big brain. I have one of those. I'm gonna hard saw Wimmy. And go for the acid spray onto Flutter. Okay, never mind. I'm not allowed to use my big brain. Battles cancelled! Taking a final dub here with Magmortar, and that's three wins for Magmortar? To start off the new year? Listen, Kurtastic. You done yourself another Kurtastic team again. Another one. Kurtastic teams never disappoint. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to use Victory Bell. Sorry. <laughs> it, it was a Magmortar video. The Victory Bell video, I promise we'll use the Victory Bell. But it was there. It just it stayed in the back forever. I honestly felt like I was already bringing Magmortar. Bringing Magmortar and Victory Bell would just mean that I would, I would have to work way too hard. <laughs> I would have to work way too hard in those battles. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching to the very end of the video. Thank you so much, Mr. Kurtastic, for going ahead and posting this team on the Pokesports Discord. Make sure to check out Mr. Kurtastic's link to his Twitch channel will be down below in the description, of course. And, uh, yeah, have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. The ranked season has begun! And I think we're, like, one win away from Master Ball tier, so hey, let's see what happens in the next episode. I don't even know what I'm using yet. I guess I'm gonna find out in a couple of seconds when I record it. But anyway, this is Kevin. This is Pokesports, and uh, this is a bye-bye. Peace out.